All right, Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post, and we are now, um, we're continuing another episode of the video cast on the docket right now, and now we are joined by Clark Dilger. Um, Clark, tell us, a little, how are you doing, man, and uh, tell, us about, tell, us where you, tell us where you're from for people that don't know. Hey, guys, I'm doing well. My name is Clark Dilger. I'm from Lincoln Way East High School out of Frankfort, Illinois. We are the defending 2019 A-Day state champs, and right now I'm doing pretty well, you know, putting in the work, uh, trying to get ready for a season that may or may not happen. Um, you know, just got to stay positive and keep doing the right thing. Yeah, so uh, and, and just in case if you haven't heard, Illinois has been the, uh, as many other states have returned or are going to return, um, Illinois is still not, they're still saying we're not coming back this fall. Um, so basically with that, I don't want to ask you, you know, I know that, I know it's been tough for you and I really don't want to get into that, but talk about what you've been up to since all this. Right. So since this, the, the, uh, government has actually allowed us to play somewhat and limited restrictions. So they've given us 20 contact days in Illinois. So contact days, meaning you can play practices for two hours for 20 days over the, over the span of the time being. And it's limited, like the contact is actually limited itself, but we get to do like position drills. You can do contact with like hand shields in between. So it's not full go or anything. Got to have your mask up if you're within six feet or anything like that. Um, but then I've just been putting in like individual work, like with position group training and, I'm going to a showcase today, so that should be good. Um, I've also been, you know, hitting it hard in the weight room and doing speed training, just doing everything I can to get ready. Yeah, um, I should explain what contact practices are. It's, that does not mean pads or hitting, because many, many people get confused over that. Correct. Um, I had to specify that a few weeks ago. Right. Um, so... You know, I know it's been, um, I know it's been, an, you know, an interesting year for, you know, everybody in the world, but, you know, how is, you know, going to, are you going to school in person or are you going online? How are you guys, how, how are you handling that? Yeah, so we started all online at the beginning of the school year. It was just like all remote. And then this past week, we actually started blending in-person days. So how that works is the first half the alphabet started going on Monday and then the next day would be the second half the alphabet would go and then the uh, other half the alphabet would just have work to do from home so it's been every other day starting this week in person how's that how's that for you do you think you can uh are you are you careful about being uh staying away from everybody and uh uh you know are you uh are you do you have a very comfortable mask you can wear oh yeah yeah we we do a great job staying away from people at school. Actually, they have a lot of precautions and safety protocols in place. We have one-way hallways, one-way stairwells. All the desks are spaced apart six feet. Um, even at lunch, it's a, you're at your own individual desk six feet away from everyone. Um, they make sure that like you all like leave at separate times. You know, they're they're definitely uh, we wipe down the um, tables and desk after we're done like sitting there with like, you know, disinfectant wipes and things like that. So I definitely think that they've been uh, trying to make it as safe as possible. Yeah. So you're going to this, uh, it's been, you know, usually Friday nights are like, you know, you're out there on the field enjoying it. And this year it's not, is it, is it, is it, is it weird yet? Oh yeah, it's so definitely you, weird. Especially it's weird when you turn on the TV and you see college, the pros playing, you on Twitter, you see other high school guys playing, you're like, oh, dang, like, you know, I'm, it's, it's sad to think about, like, I would have already, like, homecoming would have been, like, this past week, like, last night would have been our homecoming game, so um, I think that's, that's pretty crazy to think about, that, um, you know, we're, we're going through the time that would have been our season, and it's not, so. Um, so the spring football thing, you know, it's um, for those who don't know, it's actually going to be starting, you know, it's like a two month season. Um, how do you how do you think that'll work? And do you actually think you're going to play if, uh, you know, if everything goes right? Yeah, you know, I really I'm really optimistic that we will play, given that we do have the lowest positivity rate in the Midwest 
and we should have a vaccine by that time, hopefully, by the beginning of March rolling around. There should be some sort of vaccine out there, or the treatment should be at least improved upon um, in some regard. So I'm optimistic that we'll have that. The ISSA did approve spring ball, the spring plan, back in uh, late summer. So I'm optimistic that there will be some sort of season. I think that they're going to go about it. It's probably going to be a slightly condensed regular season. I'd say six or seven uh, regular season games and then probably just a normal five-game postseason. So I'm optimistic about that. You know, just got to just gotta try to stay as ready as I can. So you're a safety. What's that like? Strong safety, man. It's great. It's like a hybrid <laughs> position. So, you know, I'm – over the top sometimes, over receivers, breaking on receivers, trying to break up passes, get picks, big hits, stuff like that. Sometimes I roll down and play like an outside linebacker, blitz off the edge. You know, they just use me as uh, a player that, you know, I can kind of just uh, help them out in any way I can. So it's great to be able to see everything back there and then be able to make reads and just be a baller all around, just make plays. So you go into these showcases because, you know, can't really play in live games Um, you know I know that you're still trying to you know work out your plans and getting ready for college ball Um, have you how has that process been going without really having any games to play right yeah it's definitely made the process a lot harder because I mean coaches the number one thing they evaluate is their highlight film and if you're not playing you get no highlight film so they're just judging me off of how I was playing a year ago and uh You know, that's kind of tough because, like, our team last year was stacked. You know, we had out of of our four top safeties, the first three, they all went D1. They all went Division I, and two of them were seniors. So, and as a guy in my position, it's it's tough to, you know, like, go through that and then be like, oh, they, like, have seen, like, my full potential because they haven't. So, I'm trying to get this last season so they can see my true full potential and also, like, now that we can't play, it's just like, okay, well, I can go to these showcases, but do coaches really care about showcases because it's not a real game? I mean, they can – sure, they can see your time, your height, your weight, all that type of stuff, but it's not – it's it's still different, you know. So um, it's, it's as much as we can get, so I'll take it, but uh, that definitely makes it tough, you know. Yeah. You worried that you may not get an offer? I'm not worried. I actually have a few small school offers. Um, so I'm staying positive about that. I'm very blessed that I've had some looks come my way regardless. But, um, you know, I've, I've heard rumors about recruitment in the spring being a lot more in person. Um, I'm not positive how that's going to work with college application deadlines, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely optimistic. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing with your time with not playing games? Right. Without playing games, you know, I've been, like I said, doing the practice days uh, with our team. We have workouts, lifting, lifting weights and speed workouts. Uh, I actually have a part time job working at a restaurant, um, just kind of trying to make the most of my time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm sure it's been pretty interesting for you, you there. Um, also, and one last thing, you know. What has this experience taught you? This experience has definitely taught me a lot of things, you know. Um, for one, you never appreciate things until you're, they're gone. Like, you know, like, you obviously appreciate playing football, but you're just like, like, last year, March 1st, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to play my senior year like every other state for the most part in the United States. You know, it's just like, wow, they're like, like you just never realize that it can just be taken away from you before you know it. It's you just got to appreciate everything to its fullest at the time that you have it. So that's definitely taught me. This experience has definitely taught me that. All right, Clark, thank you so much for coming on uh, and uh, good luck to you. And hopefully you get a season buddy. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate that. Have a good one.